Hello and welcome to a Black Talk Radio News Commentary. My name is Scotty Reed. I want to remind you to continue to support the production of independent black media. You can make a donation to the Black Talk Media Project via the Black Talk Radio Network. Hello, let's talk about this impeachment trial or specifically a story related to Donald Trump's impeachment trial. You know, for a while now, I have been taking the position that the United States Constitution needs a do-over. I mean, it needs a complete overhaul. Most people who have followed um, my broadcasting know that I have been a long-time advocate for changing the 13th Amendment, which is supposed to abolish slavery, but makes an exception as punishment for crime. Slavery is not okay under any circumstances, and that exception clause was put in there as a giveaway to the former Confederate states to bring them back into the Union to allow them to practice another form of slavery. So anyway, I've also stated in terms of the Constitution, especially during the Donald Trump administration, where we had so much cronyism and what have you, um, Trump stacking his cabinet and um, stacking these executive branch agencies with his cronies. And a lot of times these people were not even qualified to hold those positions, but the U.S. Constitution um, gives the president the power to appoint or nominate someone to these positions. And yes, it has to go through a confirmation hearing and what have you before those persons can take those jobs. But then there is a way around that where you can temporarily appoint somebody and that temporary position can turn into a permanent position in those four or eight years. So anyway, we keep, I hear a lot of people most of my life talking about how great the U.S. Constitution is and how the framers were such intelligent men and, and a lot of it is based on white supremacy. Just arrogance and what have you to, to, to make us think that this document is perfect when it is not. For example, like the U.S. Attorney General who oversees the Department of Justice, that should be an independent position. That should be an elected position. I think the U.S. Attorney General should have to run in an election, and just like any other politician, and lay out, you know, what their policies are, and what their worldview is, and what their view for the nation is, and in the area of law enforcement. And so, you know, because it's appointed by the president, you can pick whoever he wants. All right. And everybody don't have integrity or the courage to go against their bosses. They're going to do whatever their boss wants them to do. OK. In most cases, there are, of course, exceptions. Everybody's not a coward. But anyway, getting to Trump's impeachment trial, very, very flawed. I was thinking about it the other day. I was like, now, in a regular trial, you have 12 jurors, right? You have 12 jurors. And those jurors, when they're deliberating and they cast a vote, we don't know who cast what vote unless it's, you know, 12 old conviction. Then we know all of them voted that way. But if let's say you have a hung jury where you have a number of people, it could be just one who vote not to convict. We don't know who that person is. We don't know how they voted unless that person comes forward. So what I guess what I'm saying is, is that these ballots or these votes in this impeachment trial or any impeachment trial should be secret. We see Republicans who voted to impeach Trump the first time around have been targeted on a partisan basis because they have been identified as Republicans who voted to impeach Trump. Facts don't matter. The merits of the case don't matter. Everybody in this nation, not everyone, but a lot of people in this nation that, that participate in the people activity area of politics do so on a partisan basis and, and rarely show any kind of objective objectivity. So here's another story that came out over the past couple of days that just shows 
what a farce the structure of an impeachment trial is. So a number of outlets are reporting that three GOP senators, now they, all of them are supposed to be jurors on the trial, right? Three GOP senators met with Trump's lawyers on the eve of the impeachment defense preparation, presentation. Now, let me go to CNN. Let me just pull up a story right quick. And as I stated, a number of outlets are, are reporting this, but a CNN article says a trio of Republican senators allied with former President Donald Trump met with his defense team Thursday evening in the middle of an impeachment trial in which they will vote on whether to convict Trump and potentially bar him from holding public office again. Senators Lindsey Graham of South Carolina, Ted Cruz of Texas, and Mike Lee of Utah were spotted going into a room in the U.S. Capitol with Trump lawyers were using to prepare for their arguments. So where they do this at, you know, apparently in the United States in, in the Senate is where they do this at. This is a farce. Imagine if you will, we're in a criminal trial or even a civil trial, but jurors who are supposed to be sequestered and free from undue influence from the prosecutor and the defense attorneys. What will, what will happen if, let's say, three jurors met with the defense team or met with the prosecution during the trial? Of course, that will be declared a mistrial. It will be declared a mistrial, and those jurors will be thrown off the jury. So again, I say the United States Constitution has some good ideals in it, but it is very, very flawed in a number of areas. And I believe that's why we find, you know, so much difficulty in our government in doing the right thing. So yeah, it's just crazy. It's just crazy that this trial is such a farce. The whole process is just a farce. And I don't say this as someone who wants Trump to get convicted or someone who doesn't want Trump to get convicted. I say this as an objective observer. This process is a farce. All right. This has been Scotty Reed with a Black Talk Radio News Commentary. Again, please continue to support the production of independent black media. Make a donation, a tax-deductible donation to blacktalkmediaproject.com. Excuse me, that's Black Talk Media Project, a North Carolina based nonprofit. You can go to blacktalkradionetwork.com and click on the donate button and make a donation. Thanks all. Peace and blessings. <laughs>